So follow me today as I go to the VA for a dental appointment. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. I enlisted in the Army as a medic in the early 2000s, and I just recently medically retired. Today's video will be something different. I thought I would take you guys along with me to the VA for a dental appointment and vlog the experience. If you like these kind of videos, it would be a huge help if you could like, subscribe, and even comment. This helps me grow my channel, so thank you. So I wanted to do just like an informal vlog type of video just to document my experiences trying to get a dental appointment at the VA and then actually having the appointment. There's not a lot I'm going to be able to film though because you can't film inside VA facilities, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, I had made an appointment back probably close, probably a year ago, over a year ago for an appointment. And I believe it got canceled because of the whole 2020 thing. I think it would have been in March or April, May timeframe is when the appointment should have happened. And now I was able to reschedule for it to be in, I think it was in November, which would have been a year of my last appointment. But because of something coming up, on that weekend appointment. Yeah, it was really random. I was able to get an appointment on a Saturday. I guess you're trying to make up for all those appointments that they had to cancel uh, for the whole 2020 thing. So I did get that appointment for about two weeks from now. But yesterday they called and said, hey, we have an opening for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. So I just drove here and it was kind of, it was not really an eventful drive, but you know, downtown Charleston and there was at a stoplight, there was some homeless man who just had a sign saying he was homeless and it's pretty cold out. I mean, it's, it's like in the forties, it's pretty cold for Charleston. So I started feeling bad and I saw a car ahead of me, give him some money. I'm like, oh, so at the last second, I just kind of gave him a granola bar head on hand just as the light was turning green, which is big, quick thing. So, yeah. And then pulling into the parking lot, it's a very narrow spaces. You can't really, you can, can't really see, but I mean, really narrow parking lot. And as I was driving down, some car started to back into me. Like I, it was, it was scary. I literally had to honk the car, honk. And I think the car is probably an inch or two from, from hitting me. So yeah, that was fun. All right. So I'm going to go to my appointment and just see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted to document my experiences here. Just if anyone else is having issues trying to get dental appointments, so. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. See here, you can see how narrow it is. Especially when you have some big trucks or big SUVs in the parking spots. So yeah, one thing about this VA is that the parking area is very narrow. appointment 
went well, well for the most part. Um, I didn't see any signs that told me I couldn't film, so I just did a couple of shots. Nothing too special though. All right, we'll talk again in a few. About to head home, but yeah, appointment went well. It had been about a little over a year since my last appointment, November of 2019, and I got some panoramic x-rays and standard x-rays and then a, a cleaning and then the dentist did their check and stuff and they did find one very small little cavity so I'll come back in about a month to have that filled yeah. but uh, one thing about the VA is that you know, the people there are really really nice I think most people who work there I think either are veterans or or are like half family members who are in the military or something or veterans so they are very nice and they're very helpful. And if you ever don't know where you're going, uh, you can ask anyone or you can just stand there and with a confused look on your face like me and then someone offers their assistance. So, so that's always very nice. And there's also volunteers who just work there just to volunteer to help people who might need assistance for any reason. The VA in Charleston is pretty nice. Just not the parking lot. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna look up about who is actually eligible for dental benefits through the VA. I, I'm not sure if it, you have to be 100% or service connected. I'm not really sure. So I'm just gonna look it up and I'll let you guys know in a few. All right. up the stuff about the dental so I'm gonna get to that in one second but does anybody else have problems with GPS's because we are literally like a 30 35 minute drive from the VA in downtown Charleston and it took 50 minutes because the GPS decided to send me on a wild goose chase just to get home Ugh. anyway S side note Anybody else ever feel special when you get the goodie bag full of stuff? I mean, I know I do. Has anyone even ever seen these before? It's like floss, but it's like a toothbrush, but it has a floss on it with disposable heads. I've never seen these before. Have you guys? All right, let's get to what it says. So if you're 100% service connected, you should be eligible for dental benefits. Again, you gotta kind of look at what your rating says. Now this says, if you are a veteran who recently served OEF, OIF, OND, you may be entitled to a one-time course of free dental care, but you must apply within 180 days of your discharge. And you have to have any kind of discharge except dishonorable, essentially. And you had to served on active duty for at least 90 days. Yeah, I will leave the website down below if you're curious if you're eligible for dental benefits. So I'll put that down below in the comment section. That way you guys can check it out for yourselves. So the thing about the VA and dental is that it can be hard to get an appointment or once you do have an appointment if you change it like a month out or a few weeks out you might not get another appointment for like three months or more because that's how booked they are yeah so that's just something to think about if you really need an appointment do your best not to cancel or not to reschedule because it is hard to get a slot I mean, it is really hard to get a slot so all right well that is today's little video 
it was vlog style. I just thought I could maybe impart some information on you guys. Oh, I did want to mention in terms of how things have changed because of the uh, the 2020 issues. It's that, of course, when you go into the building, you get a temperature check, the questions about your health, and then you get a little wristband, and they verify that you have an appointment in their system. And, of course, you have to wear a mask. And then when you go to check in for your appointment, you just have your ID card, and you check in to the little kiosk. And then you just sit down and wait. And my appointment was at 10, and I think I was seen, I was called back about 10.05. I mean, it was not a bad wait, actually. I had the x-rays done, and the dental tech, she was definitely, definitely protected. She had an M95 mask, and then a surgical mask, and she also had a face shield also. But yeah, being a dental worker right now, it's very dangerous. It's like one of the most high risk occupations you can have during this time, just because when they're doing the procedures, there's a lot of, what's that word, aerosolization? A lot of aerosols being let out from your mouth, I guess. So it can be pretty dangerous. So because of that, what they did was they have a some sort of machine, just like a vacuum, that that they put right over your mouth well, a few inches from your mouth, about that close, and you turn it on. It's like a, it's like loud. It's kind of like a shop vac. It's pretty loud, and it just sucks all the, well, a lot of the particles that come out from your mouth and stuff. So, yeah. So that was interesting. So that was it for the most part. I just wanted to share my experiences just going to the VA for a dental appointment. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. If you got any benefit from this video, then please like, comment, share, subscribe. That would be a huge help. Any of those things that you guys do help grow my channel. So thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, all right. Well, hey, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Signing out.